Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. Thought I'd take this time to go back and look at another financial ratio metric you could use to understand is a client or a company in good financial straits? Um, is it a good investment or do you need to run away from it? And I want to talk to you a little bit about the debt to equity ratio. And that's exactly what the sound of it is and the definition is. It's comparing the organization's debt as a ratio to its equity. And so it looks just like this. You take your total liabilities and you divide it by your total shareholders equity. And so if you're looking at an income statement or balance sheet specifically, because this information is going to be on the balance sheet, you might find that, say an example, you've got an organization that's carrying $500 million in debt and $100 million in equity. And what this is telling you, by doing the ratio, which you see here is five, it has $1 of debt every one dollar of equity. And in this situation, this would probably give me pause that this company's got a lot of debt. If as a result of rising interest rates like we are right now, you're heavily leveraged, more and more of your income is gonna be gobbled up by rising interest rates. So just by you know, facilitating the, the debt and the interest on your debt, it could take a lot more of your operating cash. So this is what I consider maybe, in this situation, a highly leveraged organization that can be very susceptible to rising interest rates, like in this environment. Now, you might want to look at the next organization. It's got $50 million in debt versus $100 million in equity. So in this situation, you're looking at a ratio of 0.5. So what that means for every, you know, you've got a ratio that's completely different from here, less leverage in this organization. Therefore, it's a lot more easier for this organization to facilitate and pay off its interest in its debt if things go really wrong or is a downturn in the economy versus the first organization. Now, the key thing here is that when you're looking at ratios like this, you want to do a comparison of one organization to another in the same industry. Because organizations, say, like in commercial real estate, carry on a lot of debt in order to finance projects and go buy assets versus, say, a general contractor, which may have low debt. So just in order to do this comparison, it's kind of critical if you're looking at apples on apples versus apples on oranges. Now this thing can also be applied to you personally. If you've got a lot of debt and not a lot of equity, say you're in a downturn, you lose your job, you know, one of your, you someone gets sick, whatever, what problems, you might have an, a hard time facilitating your own debt servicing if you've got too much debt versus like say the same situation here. Um, even if you just went and took off some of these zeros and just put it, say, made that to thousands, you still be looking at a situation where you've got a person who got has in here way too much debt and as a result over leverage and is very susceptible to downturn and economic distress versus say another organization or household or family has got less debt compared to its equity. So again, like all things, it's a metric. It helps you understand where you are. It helps you understand your comparison to your peers and also helps you think about where you are in the past and where you're going in the future. Like all things, good information can help you make, facilitate informed decisions. Hope you found this beneficial. Uh, if there's a certain topic or individual you'd like to see in these videos, please send me a note, post it on LinkedIn. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find these links on the website for me, those Twitter, Substack, and Facebook. Until next time, guys. Bye.